I could have easily bought the premium version, but I don't feel the need. Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam and before getting to the video, if you would like to check it out, then you can do so from the description anytime. Let's get started with what Clockify is. Basically, Clockify is a team project management, tracking and reporting software which is free to use but also has premium features with paid plans. Install the extension from the link in the description and sign up. While starting with any project, I can click on the extension, name the project and within moments start my tracking. It will ask some more details from me and still the time will run in the background. I put up the description, project I'm working on, or I will add to this one actually. You can also give it a relevant tag, state if it's available work or not, and done. You can also view the previous work done here and continue any project left before. The extension itself is really extensive and we can control a lot of things from here. Like from the options bar, you can change the workspace if there are multiple ones, control settings, etc. From here, I move to dashboard. Dashboard shows the total time worked this week on a per day basis and nicely segregates each day on the basis of projects as well using colors. You can toggle billability, week of choice, team or individual work etc. Sliding down, each individual person's work is visible. If I see any missing time or additional one, I can correct it from the timesheet for anyone and any day. Looking towards the calendar tab, it beautifully shows all the timings projects etc and we can add or adjust timing from here as well time to move towards the most important section yet reports personally creating projects is not my cup of tea it's really a time consuming task but it's solved here for me reports can be viewed from different durations apply all kind of filters together billing costing and profits can also be viewed from here costing can also be obtained using multiple filters again moving upwards we can have team and expense reports as well i can shift from summary to a detailed or even weekly report jumping to manage section first we have projects I can filter all my projects here using different filters such as if a project is active or has been archived. Then the client filter can filter work of any client as usual. Then you have access filter and billing filter. You get the point right? Now if I click on any project, let's say upward AI, then you can see there are all the tasks listed again which can be managed of course but the two peculiar things to note is status of the project. As you can see, it provides us the important information based on the time it tracked. However, it seems to me that there is a glitch that shows a comma here instead of a point. Also, it is showing the same mistake nearly everywhere. This should have been 39.84 hours, rather it shows 3984 hours. Leave it. See the forecast tab above and this really does gives us an idea based on history of the work. Moving back to the manage sections, you have team, clients and tags tab to manage similarly. The settings tab really becomes extensive here as it gives immense control and abilities for the account and other things to admin such as permission editing, alerts, accounts and access, authentication, custom fields, enabling or managing integrations and at last the ability to import already present tracking and project data to continue with it. The free part ends here. Now, the part for which people usually pay is the kiosk function and its subsidiaries. This creates a whole package for team management and even their punch ins and punch outs. You can see I've got none because I don't need it and that is why I did not pay for it. If we are talking about paid features, then you should take a look here as well. We can see schedule projects and tasks for our team track our business expenses properly which indeed is good management of team for time off leaves and holidays etc also gets easy from here there is a spying feature as well when the timer is running the app will capture a snapshot of the screen your team is on which gives you an idea of um, you know what more control in terms of approvals etc comes into play a team member gets his her own ability to add it and then it comes for your approval. This was nowhere in the free plan. And finally, the invoicing. It might be a small feature but takes a lot of hassle away from you and your team. Talking about its pricing, it has four plans from basic to enterprise. 
I'll be honest, the first two just look like upsell to me. The only few reasons to buy a plan are actually in the pro plan, which costs around $8 per user per month. That too when built annually. I wouldn't comment on this. It's your call. If it adds value to your business, then you should buy the software. Again, you can do so from the description below and you might find some discount there as well. Other than that, I have more software like this in the pipeline. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hope you like my unbiased review. Now, if you are looking for a new note taking apps, then you must watch this video right here. And you can also watch my recent video from here. Like, share, subscribe, stay safe. Bye-bye.